and Listen Soup present Arthur Godfrey and his talent scout. Here comes Arthur Godfrey, your talent scout, and she brought to you by Lipton's Brisk on Lipton Tea. You know it's Lipton Tea, if it's B R I S K. You know it's Arthur Godfrey when you hear them play. Godfrey, and uh, uh, my team won today. Isn't that wonderful? I'm a Cleveland man, you see. I have been ever since I voted for Grover. <laughs> really, really, though, <laughs> I, I, uh, I've been a Cleveland man ever since they won today. This morning, I thought the Sox would win, but it just didn't work. Cleveland went pretty good all season, too, with that pitch of Bob Lemon, huh? Fact is, it's the only thing that went better with uh, lemon than Lipton. But uh, <laughs> did you did you read where Lou Boudreaux, the Indian shortstop, hit two home runs today and practically won the game single-handed? Tonight is the first time in the history of the state of Ohio that a Boudreaux is more popular than a Boudoir. <laughs> I thought, I, I thought that you would like to know what has happened to three more of our talent scout winners. I got them all down here. You remember Sonny Colello, the singer, was on here with us not so long ago? Well, he's at the Copacabana here in New York now. And Bill Lawrence, of course, you know, he's, the, he's now one of the stars on my Chesterfield show every day. And uh, he is going to join the Maury Amsterdam program as a featured singer tomorrow night. So he'll be working day and night, too. And Nadine Best, who won last week, is now playing at the Senator Hotel in Atlantic City. Isn't that swell? They're all working, they're all making some money, and uh, perhaps we can do something for the one that you select tonight to win this show. Anyway, it's Lipton Soup and Tea Time, time for the uh, Talent Scout Show, and time we met our first scout of the evening, who is Mrs. Rosemary Hayward. Hello there, Mrs. Hayward. It's nice to see you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, will Hello, you? Hello, Miss Sandy. Well... You want to know if I work? I do. Uh -huh. And I'm married and I live in Manhattan. Uh -huh. And I have five children. I like to play golf and I like to cook. Well, 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 what kind of job do you have? I'm with Metropolitan Host Magazine. Doing what? I'm the editor of the drama, music, movie, and nightclub department. Gosh, you're a busy girl, aren't you? How long have you been married? Two weeks. <laughs> You have five children. Uh, if it'll make you feel any better, it's my second husband, Arthur Buckridge. I now have a second set of stepchildren. Of course, of course, I should have known. Uh, I was going to say that was fast work there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, what about talent, Mrs. Haywood? Who, who came with you? Well, one of my stepsons is Pat Haywood. He sings in the quartet. Uh -huh. He has a friend named Jim Pollock, who is also a singer. I see. Jim is from St. Louis, Missouri. He started out with the St. Louis Municipal Opera Company. After that, he went into the Air Corps and sang in Wing Victory. Oh, I must have seen him then. You sure did. Uh -huh. Since he's been out, he's toured with a musical show and was in Look Mom Dancing when it played in New York. Oh, I think he ought to have a chance in radio. A chance we're delighted to give him, too. Thank you, Mr. Thank Haywood. You, Patrick. Let's listen as the Lipton Spotlight centers on James Pollock. <laughs> Oh! 
Get ready. I got some special news for you. The first news about the big new Lipton Tea Contest. You folks who are always looking for contests on the radio, here's a butte. This is $36,000. <laughs> there is that much in prizes waiting for somebody who, well, a lot of people, 356 people altogether. The first prize is $10,000. This, there are five second prizes of $1,000 each and 50 third prizes of 100 bucks each and lots of other prizes too. 356 of them in all. And all you do is finish this Lipton contest sentence in 25 words or less. I get extra enjoyment from the brisk flavor of Lipton tea because... Because I'm going to win 10,000 if I do it right, you know. <laughs> all you have to do is finish this sentence, see? and send it in to all there is to it. If you win the first prize, you get 10 grand, plus $1,000 extra if you use the official entry blank or have your grocer sign your entry. Now, you can get the official entry blank with all the rules and details at your grocer's or get the details of this Lipton contest in next Sunday's American Weekly that comes with your Sunday papers. And then mail your sentence with a Lipton tea or tea bag box top to Lipton Box 4 New York 8, New York, brother. Have you got a pencil? Lipton T, Box 4, New York 8, New York. Now, this offer is open only to you folks in the USA. Don't miss this big Lipton T contest with a chance to win $10,000 as a first prize. And that ain't hate. Our next talent scout is Ruth Gannett Khan. Hello there, young lady. Suppose you tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 25, I'm married, and I write children's books. Well, yeah. What books have you written? I just won the Herald Tribune Prize for the best young children's book of 1948. It's called My Father's Dragon. Your Father's Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> He's in kind of bad shape, isn't he? <laughs> Tell me, what, what did you do before you wrote children's books? I went to Vassar. Oh, that's a wonderful college. That's the one college I always wanted to go to. But it's a girls' school. So? Am <laughs> I crazy? <laughs> Actually, when I should have been at college, you know, I was in the Navy. Well, you missed an awful lot then. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> you, uh, you mentioned you were married, Mrs. Conn. Are there any little Connsies around? There's one. Our baby was born on our first wedding anniversary. That was very considerate. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, Vassar, that Vassar must be a wonderful college. Tell me about the uh, talent, Mrs. Kay. Whom did you scout up for us? I brought you a girl named Matilda Stratzer. She's a soprano. Matilda Stratzer. And whereabouts has she sopranoed at? Uh, did you see Boomer Girl? Any particular one you had in mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you mean the musical comedy, of course. Sure, I saw it. Well, Matilda was in that, and she was in Rosa Linda, and she's appeared at Radio City Music Hall. But she'd like to ruin her life completely now and get on the radio, is that it? Well, <laughs> I think she deserves to be on the radio. Well, okay, let's see what the folks think here tonight. Thank you, Mrs. Kahn. Let's focus the Lipton spotlight on your discovery, Matilda Stratzer.
strut, sir. Of course, you know these folks will be back later on for their reprise. And the winner tonight gets a, a job on my Chesterfield show the next week. And, uh, oh, there are other prizes in the, in the talent scout winner. The, the scout of the winner gets $100 because he really knows talent. Let's have our next talent scout here, Murray Primack. Here's a fellow who wants to win $100. What do you do for a living, Murray? Sit down here, make yourself comfortable. I wait. You what? I'm a waiter. When you go to the restaurant to eat, who brings the food to you, baby? I do. I eat in cafeterias. <laughs> you, you're a waiter, Murray. A uh, whereabouts? I work in Joey Kaufman's Bamboo Cafe on West 47th Street. Can I eat that? Joey Kaufman's Bamboo Cafe? No, I never have. Great hold. You're over there, are you, all the time? Yes. Yeah. Gosh, I'll come in. Can I get in? Do that. Good. Special table for you. Good stuff. Cloth on it. Cloth on it. Good. <laughs> um, what did you do before you were a waiter? Well, I was a master of ceremony. I'd yeah. like to get back to that event. You guys have a pretty easy record. You know that. <laughs> Where did Dickens did you get that idea? Uh, it might not be as easy as you think, Murray. I could do what you do. I can sound sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it isn't very hard to sound sleepy, but uh, you think you can do it for a half hour without falling awake? <laughs> <laughs> That's the tough part of it. But, you know, I, you, we, you and I are just the other way around. You used to be a master of ceremonies, now you're a waiter. I used to be a waiter, now I'm a master of ceremonies. Let's switch sometime. Let's do it. I bet you can keep more of your tips than I can. I do. Yeah, I bet. I know it. <laughs> Tell me, what do you do when you're not waiting on tables? You're uh, talent scouting, of course, huh? Well, I've always been pretty fond of music. Good. I've got quite a record collection at home. Good. And I think I know something about good music. Uh -huh. For instance? So, when I heard a pianist named High Fidel play, I said to myself, this guy is good. And what did your self answer back to you? Myself said to me, why don't you let Godfrey hear him? So I did. So you did. I did. So you did. All right. But let's tell these folks about it, too, now. Let's tell us something about this high fidel. That's, is that correct? High, high fidel. fidel. High fidel. Uh, what's his background? Well, he's been with Russ Morgan's office. Played with Xavier Cougat at the Hollywood Bowl. And I think he was with Maxi, Slapsky Maxi, yeah. nightclub in Hollywood. Uh -huh. well, what's he going to play for us? Yesterday. Good enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, High Fidel waits only for the Lipton spotlight to seek him out today before he plays yesterday tonight, okay? Here's High Fidel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mills. His name, incidentally, is spelled H-I. That's his first name, Fidel, F-I-D-E-L. Now, our next talent scout is Gene Pierce. Gene Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> Pity we're not on television tonight, isn't it? This gal is quite tall, quite blonde, and quite attractive. Where are you from, Jean? I live in New Jersey, in East Orange. We're neighbors, huh? Sure. Tell me something. I'd tell you anything. <laughs> are you in show business? Well, not exactly. I'm a model, but I used to do some amateur dramatics. Mm -hmm. What uh, made you decide to make a career of the stage? Or not to? <laughs> I had trouble with my lines. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I gotta say is you ever came into trouble very nicely. What do you do when you're not modeling? Generally, I swim and play tennis. Gosh, doesn't your racket get awful wet? <laughs> <laughs> Tickle you, Archie, huh? It's all right. You, you'll stay on this show quite some time. Um, what's with the talent, Jean? Uh, whom did you bring with you? I brought a girl singer named Helene Demone. Helene Demone. Tell us a little bit about Helene. Well, she's uh, currently appearing at the Sawdust Trail Club, and she's been in other nightclubs during the past three years. Good. How'd you meet her? I was modeling at a fashion show last year, and Helene sang there. That's when we first discussed this program. Talking about me, huh? <laughs> Tell me, what's this thing you got here? What's that? A little momentum from overseas. Is that so? A memento from overseas. What's it say on there? Start with pen or something? What's that mean? Recovered Dead husband? <laughs> from the Nazis. Oh, really? Is it something you got from the Nazis? Good stuff. Good stuff. How much can you get for it? <laughs> Not for sale, Arthur. Not for sale. <laughs> I know, if he gets hungry, I was thinking maybe he could hug <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm, I'm awful glad you discussed this show with uh, Helene. Uh, thank you very much, Gene. Let's get Archie Blyer up. Doesn't he look pretty in his makeup? Oh, brother. <laughs> Archie Blyer in his orchestra, <laughs> beating out of background in the Lipton spotlight, highlighting the voice of Helen Dimone. Once again, will you, about that big Lipton tea contest? Somebody's got to win that 10 grand, you know. That's the first prize. Might just well be you. So get the official entry blank with all the rules and details at your grocer's tomorrow. He specializes in details. 
or read all about the Lipton contest in next Sunday's American Weekly. That comes with your Sunday papers. If it doesn't come with the paper you get, then get the one it comes with. Finish that Lipton contest sentence. The sentence goes, I get extra enjoyment from the brisk flavor of Lipton tea because. Now you tell us why, because. And do it in 25 words or less. And then mail it with a Lipton tea or Lipton tea bag box top to Lipton Box 4, New York 8, New York. Lipton Box 4, New York 8. I wonder what happens if you send it to Box 5. <laughs> could cross somebody up, couldn't we? Maybe you better not. Maybe you better send it to box four so you don't cross yourself up. Uh, box four, New York eight, New York. Lipton, that's the event. I get going, everybody, on this Lipton tea contest. $10,000 first prize. When you're at the grocer's tomorrow, stock up on some of that swell Lipton noodle soup mix. Lipton noodle soup with a fresh homemade flavor. It's great. Now let's get to the grand finale. Audience all set to pick a winner. I hope I got my audience reaction indicator set over here. Here's the card. Here's the pencil. And this reaction indicator will show just one of these, which one of these folks you people in the studio would like to win. Don't applaud till we ask for it now, will you? Here's our first entertainer. Remember James Pollock? It only happens when I dance with you. That trip to heaven. Thank you. Well, we got that one. Then the soprano, Matilda Strazza. Thank you. Then the pianist, Hi Fidel. <laughs> Thank you. And the vocalist, Helene Dimo. Just for now. indicator shows that the winner tonight is the vocalist Helen DeMoe. Come in, come in. <laughs> come in, you pretty thing, and sit down here with me. How do you, oh, your hands are so cold. You all excited, huh? Well, let Papa Godfrey warm them up here a little bit, huh? <laughs> well, how do you feel? Pretty happy, huh? Uh-huh. You too? Tell me about this, this lovely blue dress you have on. Is that a bustle in the back? Yeah, sort of. Is that what you call a bustle? Uh, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> well, if that's a bustle, I'm all for them. I, uh, from all I've heard about bustles, you know, the fun people make up them, I thought they must be horrible things, but that, that's very pretty. Huh? Thank you very much. That's very, very nice. Well, you want to sing for us on the Chesterfield show? Yes, You've won that. Beginning tomorrow for three days, and then we're going to take you around and uh, see if we can't open some of these doors in show business. You know that it's so hard to get in. What would you like to do? Well, I'd like to sing with an orchestra and make recording. Sing with an orchestra and make recording. I know that gal's very pretty. You know she could. She could. She learned how to use that those beautiful features the good Lord gave you. You know. Keep working at it. It won't be long. It's a long way, you know, golly whiz. This is, a, how long you been singing professionally? Well, how do you, about a year? Yeah. About one year. Mm -hmm. You haven't gotten many knocks around in that year yet, have you? No, well, there, there are lots of them. But see, that's the purpose of this show. We hope now, that since you've won the first prize tonight, that we can take some of those knocks out of the thing for you, make it a little bit easier for you. 
We can take you around and introduce you to these people and get them to listen to you. And as you know already, that's a pretty tough job to do. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get them to do that, and your talent scout is going to get 100 bucks because he really knows talent. And I want to congratulate you, honey, and look for you on a Chesterfield show tomorrow. It's a long road to the top of show business, but you're on your way. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Forget that contest. Get busy on it. This is Arthur Godfrey saying good night, everyone. See you next Monday when uh, the Talent Scout program will be brought to you again by the makers of Lipton Tea and Lipton Noodle Soup Mix. Meantime, remember... Let's have another cup of Lipton Tea. Good night. It's... Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts is produced for Lipton Tea by Irving Mansfield and Jack Carney. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.